Hi all, let's have a look at Deus Ex against Leela Zero in round 12 of TCEC season 13. So the rematch. Can Deus Ex fellow neural network uh, technology powered by Leela Chess though, powered by Leela Chess, uh, pierce the armor with white or is, uh, let's see what happens. So E4, C5, Knight, F3, E6, end of book. So here we have d4 from Deus Ex, not afraid of the open Sicilian. Knight c6, knight c3. So this is the time of variation. Queen c7, bishop e3. We have a6, queen d2, knight f6. These are actually pretty standard book moves so far. f3, b5 here, g4, black takes on d4, bishop b7, king b1. Black dares the castle, bishop d3, b4, knight a4, d5. So black's hitting the center quite hard here. e5, knight d7, queen e3. So that b6 square is secured for the offside knight. That knight's challenged, knight b6, it's taken off. And now we have queen d7, f4, and now bishop b5. White is not advised to take on b5 here. If taking on b5, then black does best to activate the rook rather than taking the queen. And the a2 pawn is a big liability here with that pressure. Black would have a big advantage. So we have here bishop d4 instead, just letting black take off that light square bishop, which takes out some of the sting of white's impending uh, attack of the pawns a5 both sides are aiming basically for form pawns form versus <laughs> form <laughs> kramer versus kramer form versus form t h o r n form okay queen c7 f6 form pawn there bishop c5 is it decisive bishop takes queen takes as long as there isn't a quick queen g5 here this isn't fatal just yet h4 a4 trying for a form pawn on a3 g5 a3 so it's a symmetrical form pawn variation <laughs> uh, okay so a3 versus f6 pawns fascinating queen d4 both sides uh king safety might be improved with this but ultimately the pawns would be uh, weak if black did take on d4 here Lila, i think quite wisely rejected this offer of the trade of queens let's look at a sample variation to see the climate of the position i think the climate's bad for these pawns more than more than white's pawns for example like this the thing is black's king can be restricted here this is a nightmare variation i'm about to show you here white has a big advantage the king's restricted and essentially uh you know for example here king f8 the white king can wander a bit more easily than, than the black king uh, so this position is i think just unpleasant for black a complete lockdown just to make sure the king is uh is like a prisoner and these pawns are not going anywhere uh, this would be a nightmare uh, so say g6 and then white just dissolves that one uh potentially so with a3 and even just plays rook a4 here because of the back row mates threats this is this is a total nightmare position if we follow follow this a little bit through uh here after rook takes c takes so that's not possible to rook a8 checkmate so what happens here uh basically white's got the outside pass pawn can come in with the king it's just massively it's just winning for white so a very very good long-term decision just to avoid the exchange of queens and if you're wondering this pawn's obviously not obviously but that runs into this for example it's horrible to lose b2 like that that'll be the end of white's king so that pawn has to be left b3 rook fc8 rook h2 protecting c2 like that in style attack and defense Queen c3 here under more favorable circumstances. The queen exchange here is a little bit more palatable. h5, queen g3, the queen's a real nuisance now on this side of the board. Pest, 
queen f3 queen d2 and the rooks have a nice target on c2 here and also it's attack and defense here it's attack and defense here attack defense and it was attack kind of in defense there both sides form pawns and similar styles of play funny enough so queen f3 rook h2 queen g3 uh nuisance queen with uh, queen h3 here not taking here for similar fatal reasons that these are poison pawns lurking around rook g1 crashing through with queen g1 is not going to be very pleasant so both sides are not gonna uh, have poison pawns so easily fg actually even hg it seems as though white hasn't got enough oomph for the attack here on hg this position is seems to be technically solid for black believe it or not uh, g takes might be the way to lose is, is about one of the only ways to lose here in terms of pawn transactions because uh, this position is just going to be very favorable to white uh, but you know fg was played in the game and we have what seems to be a scary position for a moment but the queens do come off here this rook and pawn ending now both sides trying to celebrate their their form pawns yeah rook takes e5 was played um you might think rook h5 to protect that but then maybe e3 and then rook d5 black should be fine here so white just lets uh the pawn go here Black doesn't do this. That's interesting. B takes. Uh, you might think en passant is available. I think the reason is the king could just uh, blockade potentially, and it's uh, a dangerous attack um, with rook g2. So this 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 is not uh, play. Yeah, just taking here. That's the key pawn to take out and to try and. Uh, dissuade white from pushing too hard rook takes g7 yeah this looks as though both sides should be okay the form pawns have done enough damage here uh, there's a big there's big ideas like rook a1 so white bells out here to try and go for a perpetual check because of that rook a1 uh, possibility but first check actually and then rook a1 and as long as the black king isn't getting mated this is now a peaceful draw by perpetual check the black king can't step over here well that would be silly anyway in principle because it will just lose the game actually just taking on c3 this is like a lost game no rook a2 here because of rook c2 so say this continuation is not very good for black so sensibly the checks are just kept up here for perpetual check draw <laughs> okay let me put that in slow motion sorry sorry just in case I don't want to fast forward that too much it was just checking like this but I think you get the gist perpetual check draw like this uh, form pawn dynamic equilibrium <laughs> in this game maybe that's a good video title okay comments questions like shares appreciated so at this point in the tournament by the way as of 6th of august uh, leaders in a good position to try and promote to the next uh, division up division three okay thanks very much